Okay, I want you to take a look at this rhythm. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and print this off for you so that you can see it on paper, okay? I'm going to stop printing. Now I'm going to go ahead and give you this rhythm. And what we're going to do is I'm going to have you take a look at it. And you're going to go to your desk and you're going to try to read it, okay? okay? Notice that it gives you the heart rate, tells you the time, tells you the date, and everything, okay? This is going to help you measure whether there's a P for every QRS and a QRS for every P, okay? So I want you to measure the PR, the QRS, and the QT and give me the heart rate. Verify it, okay? okay. Always verify. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Um, Selena, so let's go ahead. I'm going to do the same thing with you. I want you to come and take a look at this monitor. Now notice, as we look at this monitor, you can see that the rhythm is consistently being generated. Do you see how that is? Yes. Okay. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and print. It's going to print off your rhythm. Okay. We're going to stop. We're going to hit print and stop. Okay, and here it is. And again, you're going to use this to measure your QRS, your PR, your QT, and give me a heart rate. The heart rate is there at the top with the date and time, but you're going to go ahead and verify it, okay? Yes. Cool. You're welcome. Alrighty. I want you to come and look at this monitor. I want you to look at how the rhythm is being generated. Do you see how the rhythm is being generated across? Mm -hmm. It's in, like in real time. All right. Tells you the time, tells you the heart rate. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to print a rhythm for you. And if you look at this rhythm, you're going to see, like I was telling your other uh, fellow students, that you see the heart rate at 72, right? But what I'm going to have you do is verify that by everything that we've done. Okay? By counting the boxes, when the QRS, the PR, and the QT. Okay. Okay, cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so we're looking at this rhythm on real time. Okay. This is a rhythm in real time. It's being generated by a rhythm generator. What we're going to do now is I'm going to print. This is what you would do if you were a telemetry technician. You would print your rhythms every shift for as many people as you were working with. You're going to print each of the patient's rhythm, and then you're going to put them in the chart. Mm -hmm. So this would have a particular patient's name and room number on it. It would tell you the date, the time, it tells you the heart rate, but you have to verify that. Just don't go always by what the heart rate is on the monitor. You still have to measure the boxes. Okay? All right. Very cool. Next. Now you guys are looking at it for real. Okay, so Yorgo, you can see that this is a rhythm generator. So if this was a real, a real patient, this is what it would look like in real time. Okay, obviously the heart rate doesn't always stay the same. And so what I'm going to do here is if you were in a telemetry uh, monitor station, you'd have many people. So you choose the patient, you print out the rhythm. Now, if it was a real telemetry monitor, they would be six separate strips. So what you're going to do here is you're going to look at the rhythm. You're going to calculate the heart rate. Even though you see the heart rate up there is 72, you still have to match that with your own calculations, right? You still want to measure the QRS, the PR, and the QT. Okay? Cool. Alrighty. So this is what a monitor looks like. This is being generated in real time. Even though it's a simulation, this is what it would look like if you were sitting at a monitor and you'd have probably 20 or 30 other rhythms going across the board. So when you want to put a rhythm in a patient's chart, you print, you hit print, it's going to come through. We're going to stop print. And then if you take a look at this, even though it's got the date and the time and the heart rate, you're still going to calculate the heart rate, right? And you see the isoelectric line. All right, you're very welcome. Okay, next. 
Let's say we can. I can do this with with several of you. So come on up here, come since on. you all came up. What you're looking at right now, even though this is a defibrillator, this is generating a rhythm. Now, in a telemetry room, you would see this rhythm being generated along with maybe 30 other people. So you can see how confusing this could get, right? Mm -hmm. Because this, obviously, if this was a real person, the heart rate wouldn't stay 72, and you might start seeing changes across the screen. What we're going to do right now is if you, were a real, if you were in a real telemetry room, you would come to the machine, you would press print. Now, a telemetry monitor is going to automatically give you a six-second strip, right? But this one, because it's a defibrillator monitor, we have to stop, print, hit it again to generate a rhythm. Okay, so each of you are going to get one of these. Now, you're all going to calculate the heart rate. Even though the heart rate says 72, you still have to verify. Mm -hmm. By your own calculations, that it's 72, right? All right, so let's go ahead. You still want to verify. You don't want to take the monitors at face value. That's why we calculate, okay? Does everybody have one now? One more? Two more. Two more? All right, let's go ahead and go. A lot of times people sit in a very dark room, they call it the war room because you can imagine having to look at these all the time. Okay, one more? Yep. All righty. Now, if, you, if you're fortunate enough to have different, have, uh, you know, vital signs on these monitors, such as O2 saturation, blood pressure, etc., it makes things a little easier. You're welcome. Okay, so what you're looking at here is a real-time monitor. So this is generating, for instance, uh, a rhythm from a patient. It's telling you what the rate is. You can imagine what this would look like with multiple people, right? If you had 30, like five monitors with five people, that would be 25. So when you're ready to print, you hit print. It's coming out. stop print by hitting it again and you're going to go ahead and take this and interpret the PR, the QRS, the QT and the heart rate. Even though the heart rate says 72 you want to verify it, okay? Okay. Alrighty, come on up here everybody. Okie doke, so here we have a defibrillator, right? And it's generating a rhythm for us. Now it's kind of hard to tell exactly what this rhythm is. So what we're going to do, we can see the heart rate, but we're going to calculate our heart rate anyway. We're going to go ahead and hit print, and what's going to happen, it's going to generate our rhythm for us. Real time, and we're going to hit print again to stop it. And go ahead, and you're going to take this and interpret the QRS, the QT, the PR, the heart rate, etc. Just like you did on the other exercise I gave you. Okay, you can all work together because everybody should be getting, since you all have the same strip, you should all be getting the same answers, or close to. Now next, what I'm gonna do is when we're done with this, I'm gonna give you guys different strips. Okay? All right, good job.